There's not a single theory out there right now that says that consciousness is created by some kind of algorithm, some kind of computational process, some kind of neural network. None of those theories can explain even one specific conscious experience. When you look at all the theories that are out there, and they've been at this for, for decades, we can experience roughly a trillion specific conscious experiences. Taste of garlic, smell of chocolate, the sound of a trumpet. So there's a lot of talk about these computational approaches and or neurobiological approaches for coming up with conscious experiences. And there's not a single single specific conscious experience that they can explain. Zero. And I predict that that's going to continue because it's not possible in principle. So I disagree with the simulation theorists that are saying that your consciousness is due to some programmer writing up a program that created your consciousness. I disagree on two things. The idea that space-time is fundamental and that computational processes or neural processes could create conscious experience. When I give up local realism and when I say that space-time isn't fundamental and objects in space-time aren't fundamental, that means neurons don't exist when they're not perceived. That means none of my behavior is caused by neural activity. Now, I'm a cognitive neuroscientist, and I think we need more money for, for neuroscience, not less. So let me be very, very clear. I am not denigrating neuroscience research, but it's going to be much harder than we thought. The 86 billion neurons of the brain, roughly the same number of glial cells, are complicated, but they're trivial. They're just a headset projection of the real thing that's behind them outside of space and time. And so neuroscience is going to have to reverse engineer the 86 billion neurons and, and look at the much more complicated reality behind that and we're gonna have to up our game because we haven't actually started the hard work yet in neuroscience. <laughs>